Why does everyone come to Iceland? So wait, why does everyone come to Iceland? I don't know, maybe because it's so pretty? I mean, Iceland doesn't have that many people. This is their population. And this is the number of tourists. And look what's happened in the past few years. I mean, this trend has just exploded. Oh I want a bite. For some reason, everyone comes to Iceland now, like in the past few years. Oh, like, yeah, they do. I don't know, there's a graph that explains this. I feel like I should, I feel like I should draw the graph on this beach. Yeah. yeah? Yeah? I'm gonna draw this graph on this beach, not with my hands, but with animation. This is Iceland's economy. Look what happens, not surprisingly, in 2008. Huge crash. The entire world was affected by the meltdown, but Iceland was perhaps hit the hardest of any country. Because of that, the currency took a huge hit. Suddenly your dollar or your euro could stretch a lot further. So a lot of people started to come here simply because it was much cheaper. All this talk about financial catastrophe is getting me very stressed, and I think I need to relax a moment. Do you think? Oh, there she goes. Just a little public service announcement. Whenever I saw photos or videos of this blue lagoon, I always thought it was exaggerated, like someone had like really tweaked the color blue, corrected. color corrected. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm here to report that. They didn't color correct too much. I this... didn't. Are you doing okay back there? Do, do you just want to take over here? Why don't you just take over? <laughs> I didn't color correct too much. It's the real deal. The financial meltdown kind of started this push for tourism, but something happens in 2010 that explodes this trend upward. Our airports are at a standstill tonight as volcanic ash from Iceland drifts across the region, making air travel too dangerous. A volcano whose name nobody can pronounce. Clouds of ash shot into the air by Iceland's, I hope I'm saying this right, Volcano. When the volcano went off, I actually needed to get on a flight from Belgium to Milan, Italy, and I couldn't. No one could. No one could fly. And so there was a bunch of these rideshare Facebook groups that were showing up like, hey, I'm stranded in X place and I need to get here. And like, can I find a ride? So I found someone, a Belgian woman, who needed to get to Milan as well, and we drove. I got to practice my French. There were like millions of passengers who were stranded and the entire world's attention was Iceland. Iceland in this volcano. Suddenly there were like news crews showing up here and there was just tons of footage and coverage of this volcano in this place. And what this did is it kind of put Iceland on the map of the global consciousness in a really significant way that it really hadn't experienced before. graph in 2010 there's a little dip but then it just skyrockets up even further then there was that movie like the secret life of walter mitty and there's that whole scene in iceland Do you think there's any way that we could possibly land in iceland that's 2012 just a couple years later <laughs> think about iceland when you tell people you're going to iceland they're like iceland oh my god how do you even get there 
the airlines start offering these up to seven day layovers for free. If you're flying from like the United States to Europe and you want a stopover in Iceland, you can do that for free. I spent $99 on this flight from Baltimore to Iceland direct. So. so. So what's the conclusion to all this? I don't know what the conclusion is. It could be whatever you want it to be, but the conclusion is that there's just a bunch more tourists in Iceland than there was before. The beautiful thing is, despite the fact that there are millions of tourists here every year, there's still an abundance of beautiful nature. We're here in the winter, which is a little bit more of an off season, but even still there's a lot of tourists in Iceland right at this moment, and yet there's a lot of places that are totally empty, and that gives me hope. Despite all the financial crisis and Volcano and Walter Mitty and all that crap, the real reason why Iceland is having a boom is because it's amazing and beautiful, which is actually what Isabel said at the beginning. So, props to Isabel. Why did I even make this video? If you want to see kind of what we actually did in Iceland and where we went and what we ate and things like that, Head over to Iza's channel, she's publishing a travel guide vlog over there and it's more detail on what we actually did, not just like the economic wonk take on why people are going to Iceland. So, head over there, check it out and thanks for watching my video.